to help you, we made the audit. And down here, we have the perfect profile audit. I want to ask each and every one of you to look at your content and then say, is my profile picture clear? Yes or no? I would even maybe rate it. Five as in, heck yes, it's clear. One as in, eh, no. Three as in, so-so, I think so. Maybe I should ask somebody. If possible, do this with yourself and your class buddy. You might think your profile picture is clear, human, and attractive. But if your profile picture is this, it's not clear, is it? Because there's a lot of stuff going on. You can't tell who it is. You just see a lot of people. It, honestly, because my family is mixed race, you probably can't even tell where a family, if it was in a tiny little picture, you might think it's a school classroom or something because they look like they're all the same age. You, you don't necessarily know without context that that's a family, right? So if, especially if like the profile picture just picked some of them, you wouldn't necessarily know what it is you're looking at. So you want to make sure it's clear. Go back to this clear, human, and attractive. So clear means if you're trying to attract cats, you're going to have cats on it. If you're trying to like Bryce, who earlier today showed me his profile picture, he had tools in there because he's helping people get tools for their gigs. He's, his is clear, it's human, it's attractive. It's very obvious what he's doing with that profile picture. So I want you guys to go through your profile picture, ask your buddy to rate it. Next one is my cover shows my personality. It's not enough to just have a cover. We want to show a little bit of the humanity of your content. So this is personality. Can you tell what's important to me from this? Yes. Here, we've got the Facebook group. Can you tell our personality? Kind of vintage, kind of kick, pitchy, we're kind of weird. Like that's our personality. Our personality, the vibe of page will being fun and the colors being bright and colorful, that's coming out, I hope, with this picture. Inside here, can you tell our personality? Yes. Okay. So next one, we're going to go through each one of these. My intro has a teaser and an offer. So in here, my intro, my teaser is I'm just like, not just like you, but these are things that are important to me. I'm redeemed by Christ, mom to Evangel, that vanful. That's who I am. That's my teaser. But what can I do for you? My offer, I'll help you collect people. And I'm a business builder. So I want you to have those in your profile, your group, your page, your dis Discord group, Discord community, your TikTok channel, your YouTube channel, your Instagram feed, all of the places, ask yourself, am I having a teaser in my intro? Am I having a what I can do for you in my intro? Now let's look at the, the group. This is for people who purchased our business level of page wheel. That's who it's for. My offer. If you did not get page wheel, we hope to release it again in a couple of weeks. So there it is. This is what we are for, right? Now we've got our pay, a cat one. Um, I'm a crazy lady and proud of it. So that's who I am. And what am I for? Cats, 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 cats. Now, I actually don't like cats. I started this as a joke because my neighbor's cat was peeing on my lawn furniture. And I did what everybody does when they're really, really, really mad at their neighbor's cat. And I was trying to be really polite with my neighbor. I love my neighbor. I didn't love her cat so much. And her cats kept peeing on my lawn furniture. And so I did what everybody does and make fun of the cat. And I kept taking pictures of it because it spent more time in my yard, I swear, than anyone else's. Um, and so I just took pictures of it and like, and he went viral. So like, <laughs> then he died and I was very glad. <laughs> he didn't die. He died like natural. I don't know how he died, um, but it wasn't me that it was. Um, yeah, here, I'm just digging myself in a hole with this one. Okay, I'm going to stop now. Um, so you have a teaser and an offer. Next one, I list relevant experience. We do need to establish ourselves as authorities while we're growing our audiences, because why should people come to you for help? They have so many different options in the world. Why are they coming to you? They're coming to you because you have something special and unique, and they need the message from you. So knowing that, how do we say that inside of our our page, our profile. I'm going to say that in this bio section. And I'm going to say that with my content. I'm going to say, I'm an expert who can help you. I'm going to say that in my Facebook group. I'm going to say that in my Facebook group with my pinned posts. So when you see this first one is welcome to business school. The next pinned post is this is who I am. And this is why you're here. 
So I'm focusing more on my language on what you guys will get and who you are than who I am in my accolades. So this is something that a lot of expert pages and expert positioning content struggles with. A lot of times we think if we feature ourselves and our expertise more, we're going to attract our audience. And sometimes it can come across a little bit too heavy and honestly push people away. Think of yourself at a, if you went to a dinner party, you go to a dinner party. What do you do when you first walk up to a stranger? What do you say? What do you do? Right? You say, Hey, nice to meet you. What do you do? Oh, first is like, who are you? What do you do? That's the first question everybody asks. What do you do? And uh, what does the person respond? They tell you what they do. And what is their exact thing they say next? And what do you do? Okay, that's because you're earning the right to talk to your audience. If you start off heavy with this is who I am and this is what I do, if you're super heavy on that, you're not earning the right to have that conversation with them. And guess what's gonna convert a lot better? you telling them how great of an expert you are or them asking you if you're an expert and you getting to say, yes, actually I am. I'm pretty dang good at Facebook marketing. Thanks. (laughs) That's, that's a whole different conversation than if somebody I'm having to pursue them and tell them I'm good at something. So cause the conversation to shift where they're coming at you first, instead of you having to come to them with what your, what your expertise is. Okay. (laughs) Um, So go through the audit go through the audit, and we're going to go through and check off all of those items. Let's go back and see if there's any in there that we've missed. So I'm going to go back in here. So we've got, I have an engaging pin post. I list my experience. Three-fourths of my posts are on topic. Um, Less than one-fourth of my posts are ads or promotional. Less than one-fourth of my posts are off topic. I'm posting regularly. You have to give Facebook enough content that they know what you're about. If you've never posted before, you're going to have to post five, six, 10 times to kind of get the engine to start turning on for you. Because if you're at zero, it has to rebuild again. Now, this is actually true. Even if you like go on vacation for two weeks, if you're on, if there's a gap of more than 10 days, you have to start this whole engine back up again. So after 10 days, I found that you're, you're, Facebook is kind with one week. If you let your engagement die for one week, you can get it right back again, right where you left off. But if you let it die for more than a week, well, 10 days, more than 10 days, then it's seen like, oh, you're not doing this anymore. So Facebook will let you go on vacation for a week. But if you're gone for more than 10 days, they're like, oh, I guess they're not caring about Facebook. I guess they're not caring about Instagram. And then you actually have to restart the algorithm all over again to go back up to your reach. So you need to post regularly, which means schedule content if you're not available. Um, I have a friend list. Ooh, 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 ooh. Let me show you this tactic right here. I have a friend list and I engage with intention. So over here, we're going to go to home and then to see more. And we're going to pick up friends list. Where do we go? I haven't used mine in a while. Isn't that horrible? Feeds friends. There we go. And then I'm going to go to the left and see where it says custom lists. I'm going to go to custom lists and I'm going to pick an audience. So here's people who call themselves a business builder. I'm going to go through this list. If I want to keep a relationship with the people who, um, let's say I'm attracting realtors and I've collected this audience of realtors, but I'm not using my personal profile for real estate, but I still want to connect with all the realtors personally, because I want to invite them to my page when I open it, or I want to invite them to my Facebook group, or I want to invite them to the class that I'm going to be teaching or a webinar I'm going to be teaching next week about how to get more leads as a realtor. So I want to engage with them, but I don't have the sales page ready. I need to still interact with them so that Facebook knows I'm for realtors, even if my profile is all Rachel with her kids and everything else. So I'm going to intentionally seek out other realtors and open up each feed and then leave a comment on their content. I'm gonna go through and say, oh, that sounds like fun. I hope your thing was great. I'm gonna go and engage on their content, their personal content, because I'm friends with them and I put them in a friends list. If we wanna add someone to a friends list, we click on their profile. Ooh, ooh, I forgot about that. And then we can edit their friend list or add them to a friend list. If I've engaged on him before, 
I can click this little plus and down arrow and Facebook will show me similar people to him. So this right here, Andre, he's an e-commerce seller. Jin Yu, I bet she's also an e-commerce seller. Christopher Michael, I'm pretty sure he's also e-commerce. Um, Emily Holton is my nephew's girlfriend. So no, not her. Um, Paul Wright, he's in commerce. He's, he, I know because we have nine friends and they're all in commerce as well. So Facebook says, oh, you want to see, you're on Andre's profile right now. You want to find more people like Andre? Well, you click this little down button and it's going to show you people that Facebook says are similar to him. Does that make sense? So this is a way you can connect to more people just like the people that you're following and that you're friends with using your profile and friend list. So here's a friend list. If I want to add someone new to a friend list, so here's Molly, that's her profile. Here's Phil. If I want to add him to a friend list, I can come over here, click on the friends, edit friend list, and I can say he's a business builder. And now he is added to that friend list. Then I can go and interact with intention. If How many of you are thinking like, ooh, Wait, I'm going to have to comment on people's profiles. That's a lot of chit-chatting. That's a lot of work. I don't know if I have the time or energy for that. If anybody else thinking that? Okay. Okay. Rosemary's like, I don't think so, girl. You're crazy. Um, I want to show you what we what I do to do this effectively. Um, I go on in here and it's YouTube, PVC pipe, Ridgemar Mall. This is my song. Where did it go? There it is for this guy. It's a 10 minute long song. I'm gonna pause it for a second so I can sh share the screen with the sound on. That's the song and it's crazy guys, but it, oh no, it's not letting me share it with that. Let's try one more time. Um, share with sound, okay. Whenever I play this song, this is my, it's time for you to work song. So I only act while this song is playing. A song, as soon as the song is done, it's 10 minutes, then I mentally am done. So I have the same song. It keeps it where I'm not on all day, but it also trains me to type really fast. Hear that type, that music? It makes you kind of want to type pretty fast. So my point in showing that to you was that you can find hacks in your life to make it where you can still interact, but it doesn't overtake your whole life. Cause it sounds like, oh, I have to go to my friends list and interact. Um, how can I do that and still do, juggle all of the things? I am able to do all of my interacting on social media from running, like not exactly running the group. I mean, we do a little bit more than just running the group, but I do all of my interacting on social media, excluding this business school. I do it in 10 minutes when I turn that on. So for you guys, if you're spending more time than that 10 minutes, you're overkill. It's overkill for you. So that's my hack. Okay, so we covered in your profile, we covered friend lists. Let's go back in here and we're gonna look at the rest of that list and make sure we've got them all. So I celebrate others. I have multiple types of content. I am in personal groups as my feed. Notice if you wanna find if somebody is in a group, I can go to their profile and I can see what groups they're in. So I can see if I wanna join any of these communities. Um, it's actually fascinating because he's in a lot of menopause communities because he sells menopause supplements on Amazon. So <laughs> he's he's doing what I what I teach, which is join the communities where you're going to be present. Guys, he's doing that. He's a man. He's a young man. He's a young man. He's still befriending menopausal women because he wants to learn what they say and what they speak and how they interact so that he can sell to them better. He's an introvert. I know this guy, he's a like strong introvert. He's not doing this because he likes it. No, he likes MMA and fighting and jujitsu. He's doing it because his business is selling supplements on Amazon. So he's going to befriend the people and talk to them so he can understand what they think, what they say, and then sell better to them. So just, he's just getting that initial audience. It's the same thing that we teach, even though it's not, um, it, it sounds unusual. Okay, so going in here, um, we did friend lists. Let's go on now to the next one. This is your perfect page. Now, just like we did our profile, pages are very, very similar. We wanna make sure our page is clear, attractive and hope. We wanna make sure it's a bumper sticker. 
We want to make sure people can say, oh, I know exactly what that's about. And it's not your identity. It's my identity. We want to know who our perfect person is and what we provide. The same teaser, right? We want to have our contact link and our expertise available. We want to have engaged posts. Say, so guys, go through this content and ask yourself, have I done all of these things on my page? Ask yourself if you own a group. Am I doing these things on my group? And then double check it. Ask your partner, your pal, to check your content as well to make sure you're you're targeting your correct people. And that's it for today's class, guys. So now it's time for questions and answers. And I love how you guys are so chit-chatty. Like, oh my word. Um, 